Hello everyone, welcome to today's Halloween review. Today's review is a look at the legendary 1931 classic Dracula. Starring legendary actor Bela Lugosi, Dracula remains one of the most iconic examples of classic horror. Let's jump into the synopsis and review so we can sink our teeth into this classic vampire tale. The movie begins with a group taking a carriage ride through a mountain pass. The carriage arrives in a small town and as everyone exits and their luggage is removed, Mr. Renfield explains that his luggage needs to stay Stay on, and insists that he must continue his ride to meet a carriage that is to take him to Count Dracula's castle. The driver argues, but eventually takes him up and literally dumps him and his luggage on the side of the road without even stopping. Renfield meets Dracula's carriage, which is driven by Dracula in disguise, and is driven up to the castle. He is frightened when he finds that the carriage is driven by no one after he gets in, and is confused when he gets out of the carriage and it drives off without his luggage. He wanders in the castle for a bit before Dracula introduces himself and leads him upstairs to discuss the business of buying Carfax Abbey. During the discussion, Renfield cuts his finger and Dracula nearly pounces him until a crucifix given to Renfield by one of the townsfolk falls into view and stops Dracula. Dracula gives Renfield some drugged wine, then leaves him for the evening. Renfield passes out after drinking the wine and Dracula appears to stop his brides from feeding on the man, only to do so himself and turn him into his servant. The scene jumps to a boat on an angry sea, and Renfield lets Dracula out so that he can feed on the crew. The ship arrives in London with the crew dead. Those who found the ship find Renfield and blame him for the deaths, locking him up in an asylum thinking him insane. Dracula goes to a theater and introduces himself to Mina, Mina's father, Lucy, and John. The scene jumps to Mina and Lucy getting ready for bed. As Lucy gets into bed, Dracula appears in his bat form and hypnotizes her to sleep and creeps forward to feed on her. A quick scene jump has surgeons looking at her corpse and noticing the same two marks on her neck as other dead people have been found around the city. A meeting between a group of men, among which is Professor Van Helsing, discuss that the cause of the deaths is a vampire. They talk about Renfield eating spiders and flies and how he could possibly be the murderer. Van Helsing confronts Renfield and shows the crazed man some wolfsbane which he reacts violently to. Dracula arrives outside of Renfield's cell and gives him telepathic commands to escape his cell, then turns into a bat and goes to Mina's room to feed on her. The next day, Mina recounts a terrible dream she had. Van Helsing questions Mina and discovers two marks on her neck. Dracula comes to the home and Mina seems glad to see him. Dracula apologizes when he hears Mina has been having bad dreams and admits to telling the woman some grim tales of his homeland. John grows angry and opens a cigar box with a mirrored interior. Van Helsing notices that Dracula has no reflection and tricks the vampire into opening the cigar box. When he immediately notices the cigar box has a mirrored interior, he slaps the box from Professor Van Helsing's hand. He apologizes before taking his leave. John moves after him, only to see a wolf running across the lawn. Van Helsing informs the others that Dracula is a vampire. Dracula lures Mina away as Renfield, who escaped from his cell as commanded, arrives to warn Van Helsing and the others to take Mina away. The warning comes too late as a servant finds Mina passed out in the lawn, thinking her dead. As Van Helsing and the others discuss how to deal with Dracula, Renfield escapes once more, and it's discovered that Dracula bent the bars to allow the man to escape. When the others go to secure Renfield, Dracula confronts Van Helsing. The old professor manages to chase the vampire away temporarily after a battle of wills. Meanwhile, we find out that Mina is able to mesmerize her servant as John comes to check on her. Mina tries to mesmerize John to get Van Helsing's crucifix away, but Van Helsing intervenes. However, John does snatch away the crucifix because it frightened Mina. Later, Dracula mesmerizes a maid to remove the wolf's bane that's been placed around the house and let him enter so that he can get to Mina and bring her to Carfax Abbey. Renfield arrives at the abbey, unknowingly followed by John and Van Helsing. Dracula, furious at this, kills Renfield for his failure as the two men attempt to break into the abbey. John and Van Helsing find Dracula sleeping in his coffin. Van Helsing drives a stake through Dracula's heart, killing him and saving Mina in the process. And thus ends the movie. From its cinematography to its storytelling and acting, Dracula is a complete and utter masterpiece. It has earned its place in cinema's hall of fame and is easily among the best examples of film for its era. The imagery is pointed and stirring, and even if it had been a silent film, you would have been able to follow the story with no issues. The only real nitpick I have for the film is that the final confrontation with Dracula isn't a confrontation at all. Dracula is simply killed off screen without so much as a fight. I think it's a disservice to both the character and to the work that Lugosi put into the role. Apart from that, I could ramble on for a while about each scene and how the imagery truly captures my imagination. But instead, I think
think I'll end the review here by simply saying that if you've never managed to watch this movie, then you should do everything in your power to do so. It is well worth your time and among the highest movies I can recommend for this era. If you liked the video, please consider giving it a like. If you didn't, please give it a dislike and let me know why in the comments. I hope you all have a great day, and as always, stay positive.